Uh, are you alright? <laughs> she asked, still winded from their brush with disaster. A small part of her felt glad that she hadn't been the one to cause such a mishap. This time. Garrett panted some more, before reclaiming his breath. Basil's right. I'm getting too old for this. He weakly joked. Guinevere managed a simple smile, looking down at her boots. The thief stood, and watched her. Extending a hand, Garrett trapped a strong arm around her tired shoulders. You did very well this evening. Guinevere's heart began to race. The palpitations only intensified as she turned her head up to meet the eyes of her mentor. His face. He was positively, beaming, with pride. Pride which she had never seen before, pride which she alone had caused him to feel. Guinevere felt something too. A deep sadness welling up inside of her, flooding every gasm of her body with a black, murky substance. Her heart threatened to jump out of her throat, as her eyes once again began to trickle with teardrops. She looked at her teacher. Her partner. Her thief. This, was quite possibly the very last time, that she would ever see him. A primal urge overtook her. Guinevere knew that it was not right. That she should not act on such desire. But act on it, she did. Kiss me! The young woman demanded. The thief looked at her with a stunned expression. Excuse me? He asked, crooking an eyebrow. Guinevere took a step towards him. Without a moment's hesitation, she grabbed the edges of Garrett's hood, and pulled his face into hers. Guinevere was all he managed as she locked her mouth around his gaping lips. A deep, unbridled passion surged forth from within her. The thief was left absolutely stunned. His fingers flew away from his deft hands, and froze in place. Her kiss was different. There was something wild and unexpected in the way she tasted, the way she moved her tongue through his cavity. Something that Garrett swore he had experienced before, although he couldn't for the life of him remember when. The kiss ended as quickly as it had begun, and Guinevere now stood before him again. Flustered and ashamed by what she had just allowed herself to do. The thief glared at her. Guinevere felt her pupils dilate. Was he... angry? A burning agony scorched across her chest. That look. He wasn't angry. He absolutely hated her for what she had just done. Garrett, I, I can't explain. I just... She let her body wilt forward in defeat. It felt like her soul was now slowly dying. That Garrett's displeasure was killing her from the inside. I... I just wanted you to know how I feel about you. How I'll always feel about you. Before I leave in the morning. She whispered. As she turned to leave, a strong arm grabbed her from behind. Guinevere's previous thoughts were interrupted as large hands gently grasped and kneaded at her hips. Guinevere looked over her shoulder and gasped as the thief pulled her closer. She fell against his chest and he embraced her. Garrett buried his face within her long red hair, and nuzzled her neck. Tingles erupted all over her body, and that secret place between her thighs began to throb. 
You mean more to me than you know. He whispered. His breath was hot and passionate. Guinevere found herself tipping her head back and exposing her throat to him entirely. He trailed small kisses up her neck to her jaw. When she did not protest, his hands left her hips and gently cradled her face. Garrett's eyes swept over the splendor of his beauteous treasure. Guinevere gasped, as his hands touched her still cold body. His hands felt rough against her pale flesh, yet there was something to this strange new texture that delighted her. Fingers, long and slender, gingerly made their way down her frame, past her every curve as if searching for a hidden switch. A switch, which those death digits, soon discovered. Decades of picking locks and feeling blindly in the darkness had attuned Garrett's mind and senses. As Guinevere's body shuddered, he knew just where to search. Further down her body his hands made their way, until one of his large extremities was lightly positioned just above her navel. The other, now lovingly locked between her thighs. He looked down at the young woman. He had indeed trained her well. Never before had someone managed to steal from him. In that, waking moment, Guinevere, had. Garrett looked upon her face. Her expression was, oddly, both intense, and afraid. Garrett's eyes scanned over his Guinevere's now perplexing expression. Her green eyes were silent, yet they also seemed beckoning, bewitching. Guinevere, what is it? Garrett, I've never done this before. I've never slept with anyone. She whispered, unable to keep to herself a truth that he so desperately needed to know. Garrett's body seized at the unexpected reveal. Instantly, a part of him began screaming. Demanding to know what he thought he was about to do. You are, aren't you? He shuddered under his breath. Garrett continued to silently attack himself, his half-naked body still overshadowing her ivory form. What, what did you expect? expect? She's a noble, of course she's a virgin. Damnation, I should have known. The thief was now at a complete and utter loss about how he should proceed. Regardless of all Guinevere and he had gone through over the last few months, the girl was still a Simmons. And more importantly, she was still exactly that. A girl. A young inexperienced child who had never even lain with a man before. This uncomfortable realization put extra strain on the already conflicted thief, and he abruptly turned away from her awaiting expression. Garrett had stolen many splendors throughout his infamous career. But ironically, every gem, every trinket, they had always come with a price. And that price was risk. The sheer, uncensored knowledge that at any given moment, the treasure he sought could wind up costing him his very life. The thief squeezed his own optics tightly closed, the dilemma before him beginning to create a slight headache. Even if she wanted him to, could he truly be imprudent enough to take her virginity? The innocence of a woman he would probably never see again? Garrett? My thief, what is it? The young woman's soft voice echoed through the abandoned warehouse that they were inside. Guinevere. I can't do this. Just leave, please. His voice was more pained than she had ever heard it, and the underlying sadness within tore at her heart. Guinevere stood, her curves tapering up her legs before meeting at her butt. 
She must have stood there in the darkness for hours. Her entire being divided between exploring forbidden love and desire, or keeping her chastity and virtue. The morals that the nobility had dictated, intact. She did, love Garrett. And she certainly desired him. She yearned for what he could teach her in this regard. With a decisive nod, she fell back down to her knees. I'm no longer a Simmons, Garrett. I'm your student. She closed her eyes, then, added solemnly. That is my only identity now. It is all that I know. Garrett's heart froze, her words eerily familiar to a certain young man he had known, much too long ago. He looked at her, through wild, animalistic eyes. What are you saying, Guinevere? I thought it would be obvious to you. She took his hand in hers. In a massive passion, Garrett returned Guinevere's kiss from earlier. After he pulled away, he looked longingly upon her blushing face. Then allow me to give you a second identity. With that, his body collided into hers. Accompanied only by the trembling reflection of the moon, the master thief abandoned his credo, and allowed his feelings to overtake him. Just this once. He reasoned. That was his last conscious thought. Before the surreal pleasure, overtook him. <laughs>